Hi dear students, I am Sonia, your Max teacher. Hope all are safe at home and had a good time with your family. Let us resume our studies. What is number? We already learned about number last year. Do you remember? Numbers are our integral part of the life. See, in money we use numbers. While representing age, we use numbers. While representing time, we use numbers. Representation of numbers in one form or other in our day-to-day -day life. Children, now you guess what we are going to learn in our first chapter. Yes, numbers. This is your textbook. Before we go to our new chapter, we will recall what we have learned last year. Hope all of you remember till three digit number. Let's go for a recap. One to nine have only one digit. They are called one digit numbers. Ten to ninety nine have two digits. They are called two digit numbers. Hundred to nine hundred and ninety nine have three digits. They are called three-digit numbers. Let's illustrate it with an example. Consider number 5. Do you remember what is O stands for? O stands for ones and T stands for tens. The number 5 while representing place value chart, 5 comes under the ones place. It means 5 into 1 is equal to 5. Take an another example. 67. Here 7 comes under the 1's place. It means 7 into 1 is equal to 7. 6 comes under the tens place means 6 into 10 is equal to 60. Let's take an another example 128. Is it two digit or three digits number? Three digit. While representing in place value chart, 8 comes under the ones place comes under the tens place and one comes under the hundreds place. Here it means 8 times 1 is equal to 8. 2 comes under the which place? Tens place. So it means 2 into 10 is equal to 20. One, one comes under the which place? Hundreds place. 1 into 100 is equal to 100. Hope you learned one digit number, two digit number and three digit number. Let's move on to our topic. We already know what is the smallest one digit number? Yes, 1. What is the biggest one digit number? 9. If you add 1 to the biggest one digit number, what you will get? We will get 10. Which is the smallest two digit number? What is the biggest two digit number? Yes. 99. If you add 1 to the biggest two digit number, what you will get? 100. Which is the smallest three digit number? What is the biggest three digit number? 999. If you add 1 to the biggest three digit number what you will get we will get 
thousand. Which is the smallest four digit number? Now we created a smallest four digit number. Our first chapter is based on four digit number. Here is the mind map of chapter one. Main topics of the chapter one are how to read four digit number, place value and face value of four digit number, standard form and expanded form of four digit number, successor and predecessor of four digit number, comparison of numbers, even and odd numbers, forming smallest and greatest numbers, rounding of numbers and Roman numerals. We will study face value and place value of a four digit number. Let's illustrate using an example. There are four friends, each of them standing in the respective places. The first kid name is 5, standing at the position 1000th place. Second kid name is 7, standing at the position 100th place. Third kid name is 4, standing at the position 10th place. The last kid name is 2, standing at the position 1th place. What is the face value? The name of the number or digit itself. Face value of 2. What is the name of this kid? 2. Face value of 2 is 2. What is the face value of 4? The name of the kid. The face value of 4 is 4. What is the place value of 7? What is the name of the kid? 7. The face value of 7 is 7. What is the face value of 5? The name of the kit. 5. The face value of 5 is 5. What is the place value? Face value multiply by the place it stands. 2 is standing in which place? 2 is standing in 1's place. It means 2 times 1 is equal to what is the place value of 4? 4 is standing in which place? Tens place. What is the place value? Face value multiply by the place it stands. It means 4 times 10 is equal to 40. What is the place value of 7? 7 is standing in which place? Hundreds place. It means 7 times 100 is equal to 700. What is the place value of 5? 5 is standing in which place? Thousands place. What is the place value? Face value multiplied by the place it stands. 5 times 1000 is equal to 5000. Let's go for another example. 4, 8, 3, 2. The face value of 2 is 2. What is the face value? The name of the number. What is the place value? The 2 is standing in which position? Once. So, the place value is face value multiplied by the place it stands times 1 is equal to 2. What is the face value of 3? Three? 3 is standing in which position? Tens position. What is the face value? The face value of 3 is 3. Standing in which position? Tens the face value multiplied by the place it stands. 3 times 10 is equal to 30. What is the face value of 8? 
the face value of 8 is 8. Where is 8 standing? 8 is standing in the hundreds place. It means 8 times 100 is equal to 800. What is the face value of 4? 4. 4 is standing in which place? Thousands place. It means 4 times 1000. is equal to 4000. Next we will study standard and expanded form of four digit number and also we will learn how to read a four digit number. Can you read this number? Yes, 5298. We learned face value and place value. What is the place value of 8? 8 comes under the which place? 1's place. So place value of 8, 8 times 1 is equal to 8. What is the place value of 9? Place value of 9 is 9 times 10 is equal to 90. What is the place value of 2? Place value of 2 is times 100 is equal to 200. What is the place value of 5? Place value of 5 is 5 times 1000 is equal to 5000. What is expanded form? Expanded form the sum of the place value of numbers. In this equation 5000 plus 200 plus 90 plus 8. What is the standard form? The sum of the place value of the numbers. The standard form of 5000, the 5000 plus 200 plus 90 plus 8 is 5298. Do you know how to read 4 digit number? Here we have 4 digit number. We will always combine ones and tens. We won't say four tens, eight ones. The combined form is 48. Two is standing in which place? Hundred place. So 200. Three is standing in which place? Thousand place. We read as 3248. Now we learned four digit number, place value, face value, standard form, expanded form and how to read four digit number. In the coming class we will learn more about four digit numbers. Before winding up I have two questions for you which you can submit as part of your homework. Which is the biggest four digit number and why the place value and face value of 0 is same. Think we'll meet you in next class. Bye.